Oh, Dream, I forgot about Dream. How after so long, Dream admitted to cheating. He could have just admitted that right away and be like, oh, my bad. This is such a, this is such an, uh, I don't buy this one second. 100% he knew what he was doing. And he realizes at this point, I mean, who even gives shit anymore? I think they're just jealous. Dream, it, look, he was killing it. He blew up. He got all these subscribers. All the kids were running home every single day to go watch him on their iPad. And I think these guys were just jealous that Dream took over. And thus, they made it seem like he actually forged his shit when he really didn't. He's a good guy. I think everyone saw him as, like, this godlike figure in Minecraft. And he wasn't that godlike figure. So in order to become that godlike figure again, he cheated. <laughs> Let's go! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! That was the final moment of Dream's 19 minute, 24 second Minecraft speedrun. It was enough to earn him fifth place on the all time leaderboards under the specific rule set he used. Oh, that is amazing. That run was so good. That run was so good. We had almost, I mean, near perfect, like RNG. Like RNG was like, almost, the, the only thing that we could have gotten better is if we got better at Pearl Trades. But if you were to check speedrun.com today, the website where all records live, you'd see absolutely no sign that Dream's run had ever existed. Why? Well, after six months of speculation, two in-depth statistical analyses, and one apology, fans finally got the clarity they'd been hoping for. Dream cheated. Now, Dream's reputation has been tarnished, his credibility destabilized, and all his future speedruns will be questioned. This is the rise and fall of Dream. For 99% of YouTube channels, growth is a slow, arduous grind, but Dream is an anomaly. In just 18 months, his channel went from 1 million subscribers to well over 20 million, making him one of the most popular YouTubers on the planet. The anonymous figure racks up tens of millions of views through his creative Minecraft videos, but one style of video in particular stands out from the crowd. Dream Speedrunner vs. Hunter series, where he attempts to complete Minecraft while a group of friends try to stop him. What? 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 George! No! Ah, no! What? No! Don't what? do it! Yeah! Yes! Yes! Are you kidding me? Yes! yes! Oh my god, how? With his incredible game knowledge, tactics, and ability to perform under pressure, Dream is often able to juke the hunters, take out the Ender Dragon, and revel in those Minecraft credits. So without the chaotic, adrenaline-fueled cat and mouse chase, when Dream is purely focused on speedrunning, he is supremely talented. But skill and experience aren't everything when it comes to completing Minecraft in record-breaking time. Arguably, the most crucial factor is luck. You see, unlike other games, the Minecraft world is randomly generated. On random speedruns, players can't practice set routes. They have to hope that the RNG gods are in their favor for a number of different factors. The chance of spawning in a suitable biome, tracking down a village to kit a player with gear and quickly gathering the necessary items to create a portal, traveling to the end, and taking down the Ender Dragon. These are all variables out of your control. And on Dream's notorious 1.16, any percent random seed glitchless run in October of 2020, everything went his way. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> no way. That is an Ultra Pog. Oh my god, if it's a 2 eye though. I need none of my things to break and I need to find a village on the way. <gasps> village! That is really good. Please be a 2 eye. Please be a 2 eye and please be close. Please be close. 
Using this rule set, it was the fifth fastest time ever recorded. Oh, that's amazing. That was an amazing run. That run was full of luck. There was a lot of luck in that run. There was a, we had a village on the way back that had the, the rest of the beds we needed. And Dream had etched his name in the Minecraft history books. But almost immediately, the skeptics took to Reddit with their doubts, making a case that Dream had cheated and lied to millions of people. And in the end, it looked like their suspicions proved true. The Fall. I have no beds either. Oh, this is rigged. This is rigged against me. And in my favor. <laughs> Dream's ability to get ender pearls from piglin trades and blaze rods from killing blazes, two essential items in completing Minecraft, were both unusually successful. Oh my god, one more. Give me one more. Give me one more. Give me one more trade. Acquiring around a dozen of each item allows players to construct a portal that transports them to the Ender Dragon where they can complete the game. These are arguably the two most pivotal moments in any speedrun and often make or break points for countless potential records. So Dream's exceptional fortune across six different live streams raised a few eyebrows, and within a week, experts were on the case. A community member by the name of Shell Guy calculated all of Dream's Ender Pearl trades across his live streams, ran the binomial distribution, and came to the conclusion that Dream had a one in 40 billion chance to come out with the trades that he did. Alarm bells were ringing, so the official Minecraft speedrunning team asked for Dream's mod folder on his PC and began an official investigation. Dream shared his files to the speedrunning team 10 days after the live stream, but in since deleted tweets, he stated that he had already changed his active mods, something many Minecraft content creators do regularly. Then, on the 11th of December, the speedrunning team released a 29-page analysis, alongside a 14-minute YouTube video detailing their findings. Their team broke down the data, explained the methodology, and accounted for any biases. And an even more unfathomable statistic appeared. A 1 in 177 billion chance of getting the Ender Pearls as quickly as he did. And taking Dream's surprising success with the Ender Pearls, Blaze Rods, and more, the speedrunning mods determined that his RNG luck across his six live streams was at a 1 in 7.5 trillion chance. Their final conclusion was that Dream's game was undeniably manipulated for increased Ender Pearl and Blaze Rod drop rates. The run was removed from the leaderboards, but Dream, well, he wasn't happy about it. He was adamant that he hadn't cheated and claimed the speedrunning team used his name for easy views. I think the odds were like one in 7.5 trillion to get the run that he got. Like it was astronomical numbers. It was fucking crazy. The only thing he's responded to on is on Twitter calling it clout chasing, which I think is a terrible response. I, I don't think you should ever say things like that. It makes you look kind of like a narcissist and also doesn't disprove anything. So I, I never really liked that response and I'm surprised he would say that. I don't believe that the mods were being intentionally malicious. I believe that the reason this was handled poorly can just be attributed to the fact that I have a huge channel and they're not used to dealing with that. So they obviously did quite a few things differently than they usually would. Dream released his own YouTube rebuttal and brought in some backup, including a Harvard PhD grad in astrostatistics to rival the speedrunning team's own analysis. 
He says a lot of things that might be partially true, but says them in a very misleading way that would make a reasonable person think that I look guilty. I'm sure there's a chance that one of you or your friends saw that video and went, wow, Dream deleted evidence because he's guilty. And that's my biggest problem with the way that they handled this. I don't blame them that much because they're a team of volunteers, mostly consisted of young people, and everybody is bound to make mistakes, especially when you're younger, including me. But when you're calling into question someone's character, you really have to be careful what you say. After accounting for claimed biases and the amount of live streams the speedrunning mods took into consideration, Dream's hired statistician brought the odds down to 1 in 10 million. But the officials didn't budge. They stuck with their initial decision, and Dream's run remained rejected. On the 9th of January, Dream shared his final views on the saga and planned to put it all in the past. But whether Dream wanted them to or not, people were still talking, and it was one word against another. I told you guys about it. I said, guys, this is insane, right? Even one instance out of dozens of runs in one day, I, I could tell you guys immediately. This is like, dude, this is so lucky, it makes no sense. And then we'll go back to our no luck for a whole 10 hours straight, right? But if you had this luck, every run for a full day, two streams, Holy fuck, man. It's what I was telling you guys. You can just feel it. Dream did not cheat. Dream did not cheat. I know that. I know he didn't. I know for a fact Dream didn't cheat. I will just say that, like, I didn't want to give out my public opinion, but I will just say my public opinion is I've known Dream. I've known him for a long time. Uh, I do not believe he would cheat, and I think he made a really good response in cheating the speedrun. On the 30th of May, finally, the truth was revealed. Dream published a now-removed pace bin explaining the initial speedrun investigation was valid and that the mods were active during the livestream in question to increase the drop rates of Ender Pearls and Blaze Rods. The caveat, though, is that Dream claimed he was unaware these mods were active. I didn't know! I, I, you're, at, you're calling me a professional speedrunner! Uh, on 1.16, you're acting like I should notice when I have slightly more drops or think it's ridiculous, and that's that. Obviously, that fed into the, that fed into the fact of me realizing, oh yeah, me not having any inclination at all. Like why? You know how how would I possibly have cheated? So I don't think it's it's unreasonable at all. In the apology, Dream pointed out that he regularly tweaks the Ender Pearl and Blaze Rod RNG while streaming his manhunts. This is so he can speed up his runs and make them more enjoyable for his viewers. He also said that the reason it took him so long to come clean was because he felt that both himself and the Minecraft community had been through enough drama already. I did not intentionally cheat in any way whatsoever, and I felt bad after I found out that I had used a mod in one of my submitted runs on 1.16 that I never uploaded on YouTube. I felt guilty. I felt like shit. And it affected my mental health for the next like three months as I mauled over it. And I think any of my fans can probably attest to that. The speedrunning mods who investigated him were attacked by Dream's clout chasing accusations. And the sincerity of his apology was questioned by many. It's just an undeniable reality that all of Dream's future runs will likely be scrutinized, analyzed, and perhaps flat out rejected by some. But while Dream the speedrunner might be tainted forever, Dream the YouTuber and content creator is still going strong. You're hitting me off! He's flying in the mid oh. oh my god. Let's go! He's continued posting Minecraft videos to his astronomically large audience, and his loyal fans have seemingly looked past the deceit. Dream's view count and subscribers continue to grow at staggering rates, showing that, at least in this case, any publicity is good publicity. But as for his aspirations as a speedrunner, this scandal is going to plague Dream for a long time to come.